hello friends welcome to your own youtube channel achievers data engineering my name is gyanendra and in this video we are going to talk about how to create a matrix in power bi with dynamic column selection right so it's super easy to create a matrix in power bi having you know selected values in a table but if we want to create a matrix where we can switch between columns that we want to see in matrix that comes a tricky part so how to do that we will go ahead and take a look on that so let's get started so i have already got an example created for you so that we can actually know what we are going to talk about and how would our end visualization would look like right so you can see here i have a matrix over here and here's a slicer through which i can select a column to add in the view right so i can either go ahead and select all or maybe i can go ahead and select any specific column that i want to see so maybe i can select multiple columns or maybe i can select only one column whatever i want to see in the power bi so because we have a data in a hierarchy field over here we can obviously you know expand and collapse these as per the dates or as per the year that we want to see so this is kind of a common feature but what we are you know going to take a look that how can we have this kind of slicer working and how can we have this column selection enabled right so let's get started so uh, I am on a blank Power BI report now. Let me go ahead and connect to the data. And the data that I'm going to connect is nothing but a sample data of purchase order ID details. So if I show you the data right now, and here we go. All right, so we have got purchase order ID, uh, purchase order details ID, due date, order quantity, product ID, unit price, line, line total and etc right so what we are trying to see here maybe think of an example we want to give an user that okay you can go ahead and based on date filter you can see these details of the product purchase or product details right so at this point if i like just go ahead and close and apply and let me just go back to that blank right so I have just saved that data right so if I create a matrix at this point of time and let me just expand a bit and select all the columns that I want to see right so you can see I can actually achieve that kind of look over here but if I try to create any slicer through which I can switch between columns I won't be able to do that right because if I select it for example unit price it will give me a range slicer through which I can filter the values of that specific column but not the actual column right similarly if I take maybe order quantity it will again give me a filter like this date range but uh, we won't get any option to filter that actual column right so how to do that let me go back to the transformation pan again now what I will do I'll just go ahead and duplicate the table that we have and let me let me just name it as underscore new all right now what we are going to do is we need to identify a column which is uniquely identified in this table so at least one column we require which is a kind of a uniquely you know a kind of a primary key you can say in the column and uh, what we can do here we can unpivot rest of the columns okay so based on looking at the data maybe we can uh, use this purchase order details id or maybe we can use due date right however considering the view uh, let's select the due date and now what I will do go I'll go to the transformation you know tab and select unpivot other columns okay so now what it has done based on due date it has unpivoted all the columns so if I like you know select any specific date then 
you will be able to see the rest of the columns within a single date right so based on their available value maybe it is repeated multiple times or uh, depending upon the number of frequency that column would be available over here all right so let me just remove this filter and that's all we want to create that column selection so i'll just go ahead and close and apply and it will create a new table so now instead of selecting data from our original table we will select data from this table okay so let me take the matrix again i'll expand a bit all right now what i can do is i can take the attributes in the column so you can see it has created the column headers i'll take values in the values and i'll take due date in rows so now it will create a similar matrix where i can where i'm having all the columns along with the dates right just to make it you know bit better let me remove days and quarters so that will have months and years all right and just for better looking let me just reduce this column total and subtotals and also let me make it as uh all right flash zeros <laughs> looks good and let me expand all of them and let's change your visuals okay great one more thing that i can do i'll go ahead and go into the column headers sorry in the row headers actually in column headers and make the background is blue all right so it kind of a same kind of appearance for entire matrix now what i will do i'll go ahead and take a slicer and i will take attributes in the slicer so attributes are nothing but the columns that we had in our table right so let me go ahead and uh, change the header so i'll name it as select columns to add in view all right just to you know give it a better sense to use it and let me also give it some better look all right fair enough so now as you can see i can go ahead and select any column and i will be able to see that in the matrix now let me enable the select all option as well in the selection settings so select all all right so now instead of selecting all maybe i can select number of columns which i need in the matrix or maybe we can have like any column that we want we can go ahead and select that in this matrix now so they will appear in the same sequence they are you know kind of available in the table and in the same sequence they are available in this slicer right so i hope uh, it has given some good information to you and uh, you really like the content so if do so please do go ahead and hit the like button and do subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on any latest video that i upload thank you for watching keep learning have a great day